Midnight Ghost Hunt has been out for about a week now. If you've spent any time with this game, you understand that after midnight, it can be a bit of a challenge to survive as a hunter. My name's Judge Gray. Let's take a look at Weapon DPS on Midnight Ghosts. Midnight's fast approaching. Your team has to decide whether you want to take a final stand, decide if you want to run and gun, or if you want to run and hide. Irregardless of your decision, the weapon you carry can make or break your success. Not every situation requires the fastest TTK weapon, but I believe it's good to know the time to kill on all the weapons. The following tests will show the optimal TTK of each weapon. Please note that missing any shots will alter these time to kills. Having said that, let's jump into the tests. I wouldn't say it is. All right, ready? Now, see, I feel like maybe Sledge is going to take har longer than the Harpoon. Let's find out. Congratulations. Mm, slower. All right, so extended mag's not the play on that. It took about nine shots. I had anything that... Um... I think it's... I, I still think you're looking at the shotgun. Um. Oh. Takes four shots to kill you. All right, you should be able to just respawn. You can. It doesn't matter about the red stuff. So it's about four shots if you stay right on top of them. Posts and some of the testing, like the finding things. Mm, I don't know. We'll have to check the frame by frame on that here. Back from taking care of chores. Welcome back, Jay. Mm. That takes a while. 60 rounds. We don't have an extended mag in this. And remember, everything's without extended mag. So it takes a little while. It's five shots. Is it semi-auto? That's the first question. It is semi-auto. So it's semi-auto. It's about 15 shots, maybe. This thing is not good. Yep, we'll test the default gun as well. This is gonna take forever. Smoking bear thing for entering the raffle. Okay, there you go. That is by far the most ineffective solo. Um, if it's a ghost or not. Think about five and that was holding down the say shotgun is is like better right oh you're not doing it okay so this isn't going to happen okay this is the part you've all been waiting for project x came in first with a 2.53 second ttk the salt shotgun with quick reload came in second with a 2.54 second ttk Assault shotgun with extended mags came in third with a 3.19 second TTK. Just the base assault shotgun came in fourth with a 3.38 second TTK. Frostbite took fifth with a 3.51 second TTK. The Ghost Masher came in sixth with a 4.14 second TTK. The Spectral Cannon with quick reload came in seventh with a 5.50 TTK. The Reaper came in eighth with a 6.19 second TTK. The Spectral Cannon with extended mags came in ninth at a 6.44 second TTK. Just the base Spectral Cannon came in 10th at a 6.53 second TTK. 
The flamethrower came in 11th at a 12.46 second TTK. The harpoon bazooka came in 12th at a 26.54 second TTK. Both the riot shield and sledgehammer would have taken way too long to test, so we excluded them from the tests. And there you go. Hopefully you found this informative. That is the weapon damage versus midnight ghosts. If you found this information useful, please consider liking and subscribing for future midnight ghost hunter videos. And if you want to see more content like this live, head over to the Twitch channel and hang out with us there.